And there are things you can do to make sure you're not ending up in emergency rooms because of this heat. And the big key here is to limit the amount of time you're outdoors and to stay hydrated. Don't wait until you're thirsty. Doctors tell us that the hydration is key in keeping you safe. Sure, it adds up. I mean, you know, one or two days, the body's got enough in reserve to kind of get us through it. But when we're going through like we are now with weeks of hot weather, we, we need to um, prepare ourselves. And uh, before we go out, we need to hydrate, you know, and get ready for these hot days. So there are people are getting very dehydrated. It, 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 takes, it takes a lot of that heat out of the body. Um, depletes our um, basically water supply. We get real dehydrated. First symptoms we usually experience are feeling lightheaded, you know, and that we usually sweat a whole lot. The emergency room here at Decatur Morgan, very busy with a lot of folks coming here looking for help. The heat exhaustion, the heat stroke, those issues, things they can treat here with lots of fluids and some rest. Reporting indicator Matt Croshall, Way 31 News.